Does it look better now?
hands behind this machine. Who could know them all? I don't know. <laughs> Mark Perez? Maybe you, Esmeralda. Oh, I know a few of them, but you know what? This is a giant board game, and what does the board game need most? Game players! Who wants to play with the mouse trap? Raise your hands. You want to play with the mouse trap? Who wants to play with the mouse trap? Oh my god, it's a giant board game. This board game is so big. So ready to go. No one get hurt now. which is attached to this amazing crane. This crane is entirely hand-built. It took me two years to build this crane. It weighs about 4,000 pounds. It takes us two to three hours to build. But it has one job only, and that is to lift this two-ton safe 600 feet into the air. 600 feet, yes, ladies and gentlemen. And what are we going to crush? We gotta save some for the next show. Alright. Alright, everyone get out of the way. Okay, what's happening? Nice and slow now. There it is. That's right, give our crankers a hand there, ladies and gentlemen. They're working for you. This is the life size the mouse trap. This here is a modified stiff leg Derek. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. They are operating a winch with a load line that goes over the jib arm. It goes to the top here, and it's a devil weaving. That's right, folks. We devil and triple our mechanical advantage right here at the Life Size Mouse Trap. We're almost to the top. 600 feet in the air. That's right, mouse feet. Hey, everyone, look at my fantastic wife, Rose, right there. Look at her. <laughs> JD is uh, now uh, setting the mouse trap right over there. He's making sure that every guy's going to work. Wellman over here. He's been around making things happen for a while. We love Doug. <laughs> I know. <laughs> We're almost there, folks. You know what it takes to build a crane like this? I don't know. Everyone's got to have a hobby. My hobby was welding. I went for eight hours and then weld for two days straight. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies 
gonna happen when this safe hits the pumpkins. Stuff could fly. You guys ready for it? If you're not ready for it, it's like a Gallagher show, right? I hope I'm not in the splash zone. I don't know. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, how many remember the board game? Raise your hands. Yeah. Now, how many got it to work? <laughs> you're all lying. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go through the order of the triggers now. This is the order of the triggers so you don't miss a moment of action. Pay attention. Follow Rose here with the red arrow. If you remember the board game, there was a series of cranks. Those cranks are right there. Those cranks turn around there and make that ganchy winch move. Those belts move around there and they pull on that blue and white rope, making that think sign fall over. This other rope here moves up here to the white and red hammer. That falls down and it releases our preloaded truck spring with over 3,000 pounds of force, making that big hammer swing up there and hit that boot. That boot swings up and hits that bucket on top of the crazy stairs where Jamie Limelight now is loading one regulation eight-pound bowling ball into the crazy stairs buckets! The ball then rolls out of there, it goes down these set of crazy stairs. You might notice there's a series of numbers down the side. Help us count down all the way to the bottom, all the way down to the bottom, all the way to zero. Well, right now, the Madam Jesse Roadkill will now be setting the ball lifter. This here is an example of a fulcrum. She's going to use some momentum and energy here to defeat gravity. Yes, there you go. She hasn't done that since Florida last year. Give her a hand. All the race and poise of a prom queen, Madam Jessie Roquel. All right, so the ball raises out of there and goes to the cornucopia. From the cornucopia, it does a section of shoot tracks there called the gutter. And then we fall into what we call the mouse trebuchet. This here is a form of catapult. This catapult, you might notice, has a ship's anvil, an anchor chain, and over 350 pounds of counterweight to move one eight-pound bowling ball less than three feet. So the ball then shoots out of there, goes to the loop-de-loop. -loop. Give JD a hand for doing that. I took about everything he took for that. So the ball does the loop to loop and then it falls into the thingamajig. The thingamajig is a compressed coil spring. And from that coil spring, it shoots up that arm there, making that bowling ball then roll along a section of iron and shoot. It then falls into our 400 pound cast iron bathtub. Then I invite each and every one of you to help us move into my mousetrap trailer on November, no, December 1st. Is that where we're leaving? I don't remember. All right. So anyways, the ball then falls the seesaw. From the seesaw does its classic action here, and then pulls in this rope right up here that leads to Diver Guy. Diver Guy then does this awesome somersault in his wash tub. You guys gotta watch out, these boards fly. So then Diver Guy falls into there, and then you got this trigger here that leads here to the tether ball. This piece was made in Florida by Jesse Roadkill and Moses. JD, you were on this one too. All right, so the tether ball does its action here, and it leads to our last trigger, which we affectionately call Mr. Stumpy. This is the last one. You notice that JD has in his left hand this cable that goes up here to our two-ton safe. We're going to put that in the jaws of the vice. Stumpy hole gets held up by one little stick. There's a little friction and energy stuck right there. Thousands of pounds held in the air by a mere stick. Is that it? That's it, ladies and gentlemen! The machine is set and ready to go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a transfer of energy. How many remember the wave? Raise your hands. Remember the wave? Bring it around the mousetrap. This right here is a transfer of energy. All the way around. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what are we going to do now? We're going to start this machine and run some new enthusiasm.
Orgasm! Alright! Okay, safety first though, folks. Devin, you over there? Alright. Do you guys aware of what's happening here? Okay. Alright, danger all around. JD's got me a half thumb up. We've got patches. We've got CDs. I'm gonna run a glass check and Rose's got something to say. We couldn't do what we do without all of you. We appreciate you coming out here. This is a huge endeavor for us, whether we're doing this in our own backyard or whether we're taking it to folks just like you all over the place, New York, Detroit, Florida. Um, but we can't do it without your help. And we have a lot of ways that you can help us out. You can buy a patch, $5. We have CDs. Esmeralda Strange created a CD for all of you. We have that for sale. We have t-shirts and we have would land on turn the wheel while there was a mouse under the cheese piece you see all the word mouse trap so let's practice on the count of three one two three one more time one two three ah oh, just like that okay who's gonna start it rose you got a friend we got someone right here yeah, of course ladies and gentlemen we got a special guest starting the mouse trap how many people know the world of belly dance <laughs> Rose is part of it, you know, of course. We've got the famous Kemi Little right here. She's going to start the mouse trap. She's never actually seen him run, so she's going to get a chance to start it. Let's have a big hand! She did! She did come out on one of her very few days off to help us unload our trailer and move all of this really heavy stuff around. So we want to give her a special thanks and let her start the mouse trap. Special thanks! She came here, blood, sweat, and tears on the loadout. So should we talk some more? No. Oh, start this? No. Can I hear a story about the mousetrap? A story? Yeah. What kind of story? Well, I, let me think. For well, I was born. I'm no, just kidding. Okay, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Cammy, you ready? We got a thumbs up from everybody? Remember, everyone's on your enthusiasm! That's right. to three and I need to hear a big little wake up West Oakland. One, two, three! One, two, three! Alright, turn it, let's go! No, you got it. Okay, here we go. Yeah, the board game never worked. Alright, there we go. Alright, the ball's dropping, the think sign's going down. It's going down. <laughs> And there it is. Yes. Oh. Yes. Uh, remember the countdown, folks. Thirteen. Two number thirteen. Sorry. Oh, this is killing me. It's the wrong ball. You're cheering wildly now. There it is. Rocking the lights. <laughs> you got your copy of War and Peace. Break it out now. <laughs> it's the only joke I know. <laughs> All right. The last trebuchet. All right. You're now looking up in the air, going to the bathtub. Yeah. Oh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the tether ball. Here comes the pumpkin, folks. Get ready for the pumpkin.